Hi everybody, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again. I'm sorry, I started this video and it didn't turn out good. So we're going to start kind of where I dropped it off, but I'll tell you everything involved with it. Everybody's really happy with the rabbit, the floppy ear Easter rabbit. And so we're going to go ahead and um, make this um, eh, out of this block. This is the ornament, um, ornament blocks that I use series. And what it is, it's two and a half inches by one and a half by one and a half. And about halfway up, you taper it off um, about, uh, it's one and a half on the bottom square and about one inch square or a little bit bigger on the top. I kind of eyeball it when I cut it. And I start about halfway and I take it on up from there. Okay, so that's what that portion is. So what I did here is... I went not about halfway, halfway is about that far. You kind of measure where halfway is, it's about there. About a, a fourth of an inch or three eighths of an inch down, I, I drew a line all the way across, all the way across. So this will tell you where his neck is going to be. His little snout in the front, actually the white portion here, it's about, uh, about a half an inch or a little bit better um, down from the top and you just want to put a line there and I measured it on either side um, of it that I get it straight on either side um, and then what I did was I before I did this portion I actually just looped this and drew this on and this is where the teeth will go of course and you can just loop it around like that and then here you loop it down so you have a little bump here and then a loop and a loop and it's very hard to get it and then here I actually put down where the teeth are now I'm gonna make those teeth a little bit longer we're gonna maybe cut them back better to make them a little bit too long than not long enough so um, we'll cut around that and I try to do the same distance they will definitely be a little bit smaller um, a little bit later maybe these will be a little bit bigger than what I was having then doing the ears I did about a fourth of an inch I put a mark here and on the back here and I did all four sides and then I made it look like the shape of a peanut all right a little wider at the bottom a little shorter at uh, a little tighter in the center and up and the same thing on the other side now on the other side I didn't do it as well I have a drawing on that but uh, what you want to do is just bring it down a little bit and try to eyeball it as much as you can all right so that's those drawings on there to get the face. The next thing I did uh, was I want to try to put the feet in. So it's a good half inch um, across, uh, maybe maybe a little bit better than that, going across. And I make a, you know, I make a pretty good. Um, now the ears and the feet kind of join together a little bit. So this might come down a little bit more as I get the feet up in here. Um, so I'm going to just do a loop here near near the ears and kind of just bring it down like so. Like a big, when they sit, the, you'll see the bottom part of their feet. And same thing over here, I'm going to come up. I'm going to come up a little ways and I'm going to loop it because the bottom of their feet are pretty big. Just like so. All right. So that's where we're going to start. Then on the back, we have his tail, of course. And I would go a good half inch up. Nice big tail on the back. Always looks nice. And then I also, when I go this way, I try to go about halfway. And then I do each side halfway. One, two. So it's it, so you can kind of mark it around. Give you, yourself some reference points. I always use reference points on things if I'm not sure. Now that side definitely looks bigger, and it probably is. Yep. So we're going to bring this out a little bit more. Just like so. All right. The the solution I'm using to soften my my wood and stuff is the um, is the not not the dough stuff, but <laughs> it's water and rubbing alcohol mix 50 50 of the 70 percent rubbing alcohol 
and water. All right, so I'm going to spray this up a little bit before I start cutting into it. And make sure you have your glove on and your thumb guard all on. I use these two. The reason I am wrapping this thumb, if you have a glove on, you may not notice it. Uh, you should have a glove on, but I, you know, you know I don't wear one. So anyway, uh, I wear two. And every project I'm doing a different color. So you'll see, um, so when you're looking for uh, a video, you'll notice it might be the same with the same color thumbs. So I thought it's a nice color for Easter, or, you know, for what we're doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to notch at the very top of his nose there. Okay, now I'm going to bring it back. All right, then I'm going to notch at the bottom of his teeth. All right, and that's probably going to be shortened up a little bit later. Then over here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my V-tool. Uh, if I can find it, here it is. I'm going to take my V-tool and I'm going to follow that. Let's see if I can bring this up a little closer for you to see it. Um, I'm going to bring this out and around. So I'm still experimenting with this camera. It's not like my old one. Sometimes the old stuff is easier. And we're going to just bring that all the way down and around. And notice I'm going on the outside of it. I'm not doing it right on the line. That gives you some grace. To um, Sometimes people do it right on the line. Some people do it on the outside of the line. But this one should be on the outside of the line. Now you can do it with a big stop cut if you want. You can do that too. It's up to you. But um, all right. So there's where the teeth are going to be, where his um, the round part, and then what I do is I. I take it down a little bit more. Of course, I take this down just a tad more. Let's cut it out a little bit further. And then this is all going to come back. All right. Just like so. And then I take my knife and I try to cut it straight in. Okay. So when I'm cutting it, I'm parallel with the corner. Now, if you want, and it's not a bad idea to do it, take your pencil and just put a little line over the top. Then you know where the center is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and I'm going to cut alongside of here and go all the way around. And then I'm going to take the tip of my knife and I'm just going to they get out a little bit. Just like so. Alright, and you're going to do the other side the same way. You're going to take, go up to the teeth there, cut all the way around it. And remember, you don't want to hold your knife this way. You don't want to cut into the white portion there, around his nose and his mouth there. So, and you're just going to take a little bit out. a little more than I wanted on that one, but that's okay. It won't matter. All right. So here, I'm going to leave that for now, and I'm going to the ears. I'm going to do my little, my little cut here for the foot. I know where, where that portion is. All right. And again, I'm going to follow this with my little V-tool. Follow this out kind of on the outside. And I always rest my thumb on my piece when I use the V tool. Okay, just like so. You're going to do the other side. The nice thing about the V tool, it gives you a reference where everything is. I 
Okay, so kind of that they should be the same size. You can measure it with your with your uh, with your tool. I'll be right back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, continue on with the feet. I cut this out a little bit further. I'll show you how I did it. I notched it out just like we do all our corners of our feet. And don't worry about the the ear there. It will all come together. All right. So, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go around the outside. Let's bring it up just a tad closer so you can see it better. And there we go. All right, so you should have the two feet. This one looks awfully wide compared to this one, and it is. So I can trim this down just a little bit, which I will do a little bit later. All right. So we have that. Now we've got to figure out where the neck is. Um, the neck is going to be over here and over here. All right, right above the feet there. All right, and you can take your knife and you can just do a stop cut and you're going to come in from this side and the other side. That's a big V cut. All right. And this might be a little bit too wide on this side compared to here, so we can always trim this down. But that gives us where the neck's going to be. Just a little V cut. Now we're going to do the ears real quick. The ears, I'm going to take the V, uh, the V tool again, and I'm going to go right up here and follow this out. And again, I'm going to do it on the outside of the ear. Or try to do it on the outside of the ear. Okay. This is just so much easier when you can use a V tool like this. This is a V um, four and a half. I do have these. You can go to my online store. I I do sell these. Um, so you can. I need to go over a little further like that. And I'm not going to the top yet here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to slope it in a little bit. Okay. We're going to just bring this in a little bit. And this side, both ears, we're going to bring in a little bit. All right. And we're going to go even a little further. Okay, the ears at the very top, as you can see, they come out and around a little bit. So we're going to just make sure that we have that in here. You know. So the first thing I do is I take my, my, my tool, my V tool, and I go right over the top. Straight across, actually straight across. Let me go straight across before we do anything else. I'll do the same thing over here. All right. And then we'll take this corner out. We'll take this corner out. And we're going to take all this out here. We're going to just start trimming stuff off and bringing it back. And then I'm going to do the back side as well because sometimes it's getting the profile of this bunny. Okay, 
sometimes if you get the profile just right, a lot of times all of the rest falls into place. Well, it does for me anyway. So if you get one side pretty good, you can just kind of eyeball the other side. I don't know if that makes any sense. I often find if you get this section done pretty well with a face or with a whatever animal you're doing, a lot of times you'll end up having um, a pretty good piece because this part is in proportion and then it won't be as hard to do the other section. Okay, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit. He's kind of wide there, so you know what, I'm going to bring this back a little bit more. Just cut this back a little bit more. This head's way too thick for my liking, so I'm going to bring this back just a bit more. I'm going to cut that off again. Just like that. So you can always change things if you have to. Okay, now you can go over and do the rest of the bunny here. Now you can go up here again, where where the actual marks are, and go back up here and cut it again. All right, so you can do that. Take a little bit off of here, a little bit off of here, and I'm gonna keep going back this way. All right, I want to look at that view. All right. Let me take a look at something. I might trim this down a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut out the part, portion of the ears. I'm just going to go in here a little bit at an angle going inward. Right, and I'm going to just kind of take a little piece of that out. And it kind of you have a little bit of a gap in there. I need to look at this back here. It comes out. All right. You're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to make this little bit of a gap here where the face. Pull that right out. And down here, you're going to do a pretty steep cut right behind the foot and where the ear meet. It's going to be pretty, pretty steep. Now, you don't want to cut it flat because you want like a puffy cheek there for the for this bunny. So, I'm still trying to trim it up a little bit more. And now I'm going to put the ears in again. We're going to go out a little further. And I'm going to put the ears in here. There we go. And then same thing over here. We're going to come out a little bit more. Bring it in. And same thing over there. So I'm going to do the V cut back here. Again, we're going to do the V cut right down the center. Like that. Okay. And then it's just a matter of cutting your your ear out a little bit better. So, there we go. Alright. Just like so. And now here, this is where the eyeball is going to go in. What we want to do is start scooping that out. Just like so as far as we can go until we hit the bottom part we're going to be we're going in front of the the um, I'll explain this on the next video alright so what we're doing here is we're still taking portions of this out and we're scooping it out alright because it, they have a little bit of a indentation right in here alright And you're going to go towards just like so. And you keep going as far as you can go, as skinny as you can go there. All right. And I'm going to start rounding off the nose a little bit. So I'll start making it look more like a bunny. And then all this here, um, 
all this section here needs to be uh, trimmed off so we're gonna just start trimming stuff off and, uh, and in fact we need to make a little bit of the nose there so about where this where this crevice is right here where we made that connection we're gonna go down and around like so I might have cut off too much on that side uh, And we're going to go in a little further here. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to go in with my knife on the top of that and just put a little V cut. All right, just like so. And this will come down. This will come down like so a little bit. This will be all cut out. We'll redefine our teeth there in a little bit. But uh, this is kind of what we're doing. And then, of course, up here, we're going to redefine that line. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to round up everything. And I'm going to start pulling down on its teeth here a little bit. And we're going to go right in. Cut that right out. Same on either side here. We're going to bring that right up there so it looks like it's coming out underneath. All right, just like so. That's it. And then we're going to start rounding this off. We're going to make this deeper underneath here a little bit more. We're going to dig some of the, more of this out. All right. So we've got um, we've got more here to cut right here. And this will make the cheeks look fuller. Okay. Uh, when you do that so and we're going to take some more off here eventually all right now here i'm going to cut this back a little bit i think it's a little bit too wide let me take a look here one two yeah it is i'm going to round this side off first and then we're going to look at something here I'm going to take the little V tool, the smaller one, the V3, and I'm going to put a line right up through the center. Okay, just like that. Let me take a look at something. All right. Uh, his ears are going to be a little bit off, but we're going to see if we can fix that. Let me take this off out here. Start chopping some of this out. All right. And we're going to round this off to the top here. And we're going to take this out a little further underneath the ear. And I'm going to start rounding this off right here. I'm going to take that hard stuff off at the top. You don't want to leave that on there. It won't look right. I'm going to take a little more off on this side. All right. Now. Gonna bring this. We're gonna bring the feet back a little bit. One, and you're gonna do this at an angle, right here where this meets behind the ear. Behind, I mean behind the feet. 
All right, that's the one section. And I'm going to try to shave a little bit of this off here. All right. And we're going to continue digging this out. Hmm. All right, right here, we're going to cut some more off. Right in here. We're going to bring this in a little bit more because that's a little too wide for me. All right. And we're going to take that off. We're going to do like a V cut. And that will make it stick out a little further. All right. Same thing over here. We're going to do a little bit of a V cut. All right. And again, we're going to trim all this off. Then add his head a little bit. All right, so that's kind of where we're at with the with the head. It's coming along. All the bunnies look a little different when I get them done. I did three more earlier. Now I'm going to take this hard stuff off around his cheeks. Now, I'm not done down here yet. I want to make that a little bit more distinct, a little more deeper. So let's just pull that out. All right. Ears could have been a little bit longer, but uh, because it's resting up against his foot, his feet are a little bit longer on this one. So versus the the, the original, but um, that's what you want to do. You want to keep scooping that out. You look at bunny rabbits; they have that definite dip in their face there. All right. This will come down a little bit. So I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. And, um, you know, this is all kind of one piece here. Now I'm going to take all the hard stuff off his cheeks there, uh, off this portion. All right, and um, here I'm gonna. Here there's a bit of a, uh, a corner there, so I'm gonna start chopping around that ear a little bit more. All right. Now we're gonna go to the back side of the ear, and we're gonna follow that out. Let me just do that from here, so I, I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so there on the back of his ears, I have it going up. I went around the corner with my V-tool like this and took it around and, and did a swipe down there. Now, the tail, we'll keep going here. The tail, oh, we'll be right back. Whoops, sorry about that. Now, we've got part of the bunny done. We've got his big feet going up. Uh, we're going to start on the back side with his tail. So all it is is doing a nice big cut at the top and bringing this down a little ways. All right, and then you want to cut it all the way around the same way. You can cut the bottom first if you want because that's going to be rounded. And this is all going to be rounded here. Once his feet are in there pretty good. Um, edge of his foot there. Okay, see how we rounded it up there already? Rounded it there already. All right. 
So I go right along the tail end here, and then we'll do the last little stretch here with a knife. And then I take my knife and I just go around it and start digging it out. And here too, you can just cut it a little bit. I have to do that other foot. So let me do that other, other foot for a second. So it's going to be a little bit at an angle there. So we're going to just cut in a little bit at an angle, okay? And then you're just going to cut it out like so. All right, and you're going to go all the way up the foot at an angle to make it stick out. And then I go back with a knife and I just, just char start chopping it out. All right. We're supposed to get a big storm tomorrow. Up north, we're supposed to get a big, what they call a north northeaster, which is uh, a huge, um, big, big um, snowstorm. We're supposed to get a lot of wind and rain up to 60 miles an hour tomorrow. Uh, it'll be an interesting day for sure. Let me just do this. Okay, so I'm going to follow this line out with my knife. You can use your V tool to do it as well. It's much easier if you use a V tool. A little cleaner when you use your V tool, but you can do it either or. So you're going to keep chopping this out a little bit. And I'm going to round the tail. Just like you do tassels, you know, it's the same idea. You do the Santa tassels. And you're just going to trim everything off, round everything up. And you take your time with doing that, but that's how you get the tail in there. Now this here gets trimmed down. Oh, we'll do the ears in the back here in a second. Notice how I'm pushing with my... You, your thumbs are so important. This is why I have this on, because a lot of times the blades hurt my fingers. Uh, trying to push stuff through. So I'm going to go near the ears here a little bit. Just trim a little bit out. Trim that out a little bit better. Okay. Now here I'm still going to dig some more out because I'm not happy with that there. So um, we're going to definitely dig some more out there because their floppy ears kind of sit. And, and that will bring your cheek out a bit more too. See how that worked? When you go in a little bit deeper up here in this one area and you're scooping this portion out it makes that that cheek pop out all right now, that's great I'm gonna do a little bit deeper over here as well just a little bit deeper there we go everybody does a little bit different but um, I love doing these little projects with these blocks they're a lot of fun to do I've had so much fun doing these and coming up and I have a couple other ideas as well so stick around uh, we'll probably do the um, the leprechaun head. I'll do, probably do that one next. That's a new one. Um, there's a couple other new ones that I like to do. And uh, so that's our little face there. And I'm going to even it up a little bit when I get out. But here at the bottom where the feet and the neck joint. And when you go down a little bit here, let's see if I can bring this up kind of close for you. All right, let's see if I can bring it up nice and close. There we go. See this area right here? We're going to be taking some of this out. So what I want to do is go in kind of deep at an angle from the head portion down. Oops. To try not to cut into that portion I just did. And then you're just going to try to scoop some of that out right there in the corner. See how that depth gives us some depth? That's what you want. Okay, so you're trying to... Go in pretty deep there. All right, and same thing over here. I'm going to go in a little bit deeper. I'm going to go down this way. And then I'm going to come up from the side. I don't want to cut any more off on, on the cheeks right now. All right, but uh, this part of the bunny comes down a little further. Now, that's really pronounced versus mine. Mine's a little more straight across. All right, mine's a little more straight across. 
that's up to you. Um, you can bring this back a little bit if you want. Um, and you can do that if you like, but I think it looks fine. Um, just a little bit different. Again, I'm going to go underneath here and dig this out a lot more yet. All right. So that's how that portion works out. Let me go back. All right. So we want to have a good, good depth in here, here, and here, and here. And we want to scoop this, these sections out pretty well, simply because the eye will go in there and it will make it look more like a bunny. And we're going to kind of slope this out a little further. Okay. Flat like a bunny. All right. All right. So the back side, we're still working on this. What we want to do is take all this rough stuff off. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, let's see if I can show that to you. You see this white stuff that we have here. That's the stuff you, you want to try to get rid of. That's from the bandsaw or when it came from the supplier. It's that rough stuff. You want to make sure you get rid of that. All right. So let me bring this back again. And uh, we're going to bring this in a little bit as well. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do here, we're going to give it a little bit of a hip. So we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Well, this has to be dug out a little further. Same thing in the front as the back. You want to dig this portion out a little bit. Okay, right there. That's what you want to do. You want to dig that out a little bit. That's it, right there. Okay, and you kind of want to do this side as well. You want to make, kind of make the match in depth. If you can. All right. Here again, I'm going to round the butt a little bit more where the tail is. I'm just going to try to go up here and make a little bit of a cut there. So it looks like it's being rounded. All right. And he's coming along. We'll be right back. All right, while I was offline, because some of it's kind of tedious, I went around and I took off all the, the rough edges and the crazy stuff that we had here. So I took care of all that. Um, you know, anything that looked like a hard edge or the, those rough patches, I went over it with a knife and, and took care of it. All right, so what we're going to do now... I've got to set this, let me set this camera a little bit more this way. There we go. Ah, okay. Mm, there we go. Now I'm going to go. All right, we're back again. Um, we're, what I did while I was offline is I actually took um, part of our, our project here and got rid of all the hard edges here. And um, let me see if I can do something here. All right, what I did was I went ahead and I took care of all the hard edges that we had here and all the rough spots. I try to take as much of it off as I can. We're going to finish off the back side and then we're going to do the eyes. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to make a little bit of a, like a hip on both sides. And then I take my V tool and I use that to do this portion of it. So we'll just... Take this like this, and we'll just follow that up to the ear. We're going to make it more distinct with the um, with the with a knife. This gives you a good good place to start with that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in there a little bit deeper, and I'm going to go from the top down so that hip sticks out a little bit. Okay. And then you're just going to round that hip off a little bit. And that's it. Now, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to go in here a little bit deeper, like I did on this side, uh, around the ear a little bit. There we go. And that's all you would basically want to do with the hip. All right? And you just want to round it off. You want to get rid of all those crazy kind of um, 
hard edges that you see. I'll do more of this when I get off. See, there's some rough patches here yet. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me bring that up a little bit, see if you can see it. Um, there's a couple of rough patches there as well. So um, I need to take those off and I'll go around and take care of all that and define all my lines again. A lot of it's just just messing with it, you know, and, and just whittling the little things off that don't need to be there. Okay. There you go. And I'm gonna kind of blend that into there. So this one's a little bit a little bit higher. Let me see if I can fix that and see that. Let me bring this down just a bit here. Over a little bit. There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, looks real good. That's pretty well finishing up the back, okay? Now for the front. We've got a lot more to do. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the eyes in. All right, so I have the circles. It's a, it's a pretty good circle. You want it closer to the nose than too far in the back. It won't look right. So what I do with this is I just take my, my knife and I just follow that circle all the way around. And I go from the inside of the eye, I trim it out. All right? And that's all you do, is just make a circle. And then after you make your circle, the hard part is making the other side match it. Okay? If you want a little wider eye, you can make a bigger eye if you want. Some bunnies really have some big eyes. And then I go around and I do the bottom part, which would be like his eyelid part I just actually take a little piece out all right and that that would be your eye and you do the same thing on the other side um, the the tooth uh, this here the nose area is very small and it's very very tiny and so what you want to make sure you do is a tiny nose is make a little V cut upside down so you go down this way and you cut it up and cut a little V, and that's where their nostrils are. It's right at that corner. We're not going to put any nostrils in with anything. But the next thing I want to do is I want to take a little V tool. I want to split the teeth up as well, just like so. And then I'll take this and I'll clean this up a little bit more. Now it's a little bit long. I'm gonna. You can just trim it back. You want to cut underneath it, behind it. So when you're trimming it like this, you want to take it at an angle. See how I have it at an angle there? I'm, let's see if I can move some of this so you can see it. See I have a little bit of an angle there um, that I cut it. It's not straight up and then over. It's just at an angle. And then you can clean that up later. You can actually cut across it and take that little piece out. But you have to be very careful. And I'm not going to do that on the camera because it's too delicate. All right, but for the most part, you just separate, you know, the, the teeth. And if it's a little bit too long, you just can trim it pretty easily. So I'm going to trim it back a little bit. There you go. I like that size. Looks better. All right, the next section we're going to do is the feet. The feet are a little bit different. Um, they're similar to all my other feet, but what I do is because their feet are, back feet are so long, I do one in the center. I do one in the center, one large one in the center. I do one on the bottom, an oval shape, and then I'll do one here and right next to each other, just a little bit shorter, just like so. And I do the same thing over here. Now this is optional. You can either paint it on, like some people, or you can take your little V tool and you can go ahead and and mark these all off uh, with a V tool. You can follow your lines with a V tool. One word of caution: you want to make sure your V tool is very very sharp. If it's not, this is not going to work very well for you. All right. So that's how I put the feet in, and I take my little V3. Okay, my little V3, and I'll actually 
Let's see if I can do this on here. Let me bring this up, see if I can do it nice and close. Semi-close anyway. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to take that little piece out. So I'm just going to do the outline of it. So I do one side, and a lot of times I'll turn my piece instead of my hand. All right, and then I'll do this side. All right, so that's the one part. Then I go up here and I do, I'll just show you the one foot. You can do the other foot on your own. And I turn my piece and I go down. I come up this way and I turn it again the other way. Hopefully that will meet. It's hard to do it. I can't see it too well from where I'm sitting. But uh, you don't want to pull that off. You just want to just snap that off. And then you do the next foot, next section. All right. And do the same thing. Just take it off like this. All right, and that's how I do my feet. And when I go to paint it, it's a little bit different. So we did the eyes, we did the foot, we did the backside, it's done. Now we're gonna put where the where this other stuff meets, we're gonna put the carrot. The carrot kinda is offset. So we're gonna start up here and we're just gonna turn it and put a piece like this. Okay, and we're gonna, just a, just a small piece. And we're gonna loop it at the bottom here. All right, that's the carrot, all right. The one hand is going to come out a little bit, like so. And the other hand is going to be over it a little bit. So we're going to do this. And it's going to have a little piece right here we're going to cut out. And so. That's it. All right? Oh, I'm sorry. And the very bottom here, where the little green part of the top of the carrot, um, that's, that's how I do it. Now I take a V tool a lot of times and I do all my outlines. So let's do the the hands on top of this first. So let's let's go and do that first. I'll do this over here. And then I'll do my turn here. Just a little bit of a turn. There we go. Alright, and then we're gonna go up here and do this section here. And then we'll do the long part portion of now we're going to undercut everything after we get this all done, but this is just the outline. All right. And then this actually turns all the way around at the bottom. All right. So just see how sharp that tool is. If that tool isn't sharp, you're not going to be able to. You can do it with a knife with a stop cut. Okay. You don't have to use one of these, but it's so much easier and a lot more fun. You don't feel as frustrated with it. Now I'm going to take this down a little bit more. And let me just do this last part before I turn off the video clip here and go to the next one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to undercut some of this and I'll show you online when we come back how that's done. And then we'll do all the, all the fur and that takes a while to do. Okay. So we'll be right back. So that's the design for the front. Okay. Now I went around and I did this section first. I want to show you what I did. I took my knife and I just took a, I did a stop cut on that area where we cut it with the little V tool and then I undercut it a little bit. So that hand's going to stick out, those arms are going to stick out a little bit more. All right. And that it's going to stick out a bit more. All right. That's what you want to do. And then we're going to round this off. You round everything off a little bit. And then over here, I just do a couple little V cuts for the greenery, just like so. All right. And here I go a little bit deeper here and undercut it because the hand's kind of underneath it. He's holding it from the back and the front. All right. So uh, that's what we have there. Um, if you want to undercut here, you can. You can just go up here and undercut a little bit. I cut this section out a little bit and cut this out. Uh, then you want to round. You want to make sure you round everything off. All right, including the carrot. 
You want to make sure you round that off and get rid of all the hard edges everywhere. Okay. Then over here, we're going to just kind of round the bottom off a little bit. I get this little tummy. All right. And just go up here and just recut this a little bit more. There you go. All right. That's pretty well the the end of it for now. Um, what we do with the carrot, there's two couple things we do. With the little feet, um, they have little claws that so we put a little, just a couple little stop uh, V cuts in here. Uh, just little ones. Let me do it back here. I'm destroying it from what I can tell. All right, let's see here. One, two, three. Okay. Let me clean this up just for a second and bring this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we got little little uh, claws there, and they do have claws. I used my dad used to have a bunch of rabbits, and we had a friend of ours that raised rabbits, the Dutch rabbits, and uh, my dad raised them in Holland when he lived in Holland. He raised a bunch of them with a friend of his when they were first married. When he was first married. And uh, sold a lot of rabbits. So anyway, I just learned about that uh, not too long ago. I thought he always was into um, the big bovine animals and milking and stuff. So what we need to do is go across here and make this look like the carrot. Or I can show you with this one. This this look right here. This look right here. Okay. All that is consists of little strokes from your V tool going across and making a little bit of a line here and there and that's it that will make it look like a carrot all right all right so that's about it on that portion of it and then we put a little bit of a, a claw over here or two I'll only put one because it's kind of tucked underneath there a little further um, the face that doesn't look quite right there. This here, we're going to go in a little bit deeper. And we're going to cut that out. There we go. That looks better. All right. So now comes the hair portion. And the hair portion is a little bit different. Um, I use a, uh, the big V uh, 4.5 and I use the V3. And if you look at how the hair is going... It's straight out from the face and down, okay, like out and around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of it offline, and I'll come back and show you what I did, and we'll do maybe a portion of the hat, the head, portion of the, the face, and his, his arms and his butt and, you know, his tail. So his tail... Just a, I'm going to clean everything up before I start because I need to clean some more stuff up. But this is pretty well the end of the carving portion. You have the other foot you've got to do. Um, so let's take it from there and see what, what we have. And uh, let me get it all cleaned up and ready to do the hair portion. So a lot of it's going to be re looking at it and cleaning up what is sticking out. If there's bumps, humps and bumps here and there, I'll, I'll smooth those out. Um, you know, I'll clean up some of this stuff back here and, and clean up around this tail a little bit more, you know, and that all takes a little bit of time. So we're going to go offline now and I'll take care of that and I'll be back, uh, soon. Okay. I, what I did, uh, uh the last couple hours is I decided to put in this, this, um, the fur using a little V3. Uh, I use it quite a bit. And as you can see, the V3, um, it's little strokes and long strokes. And you can see the, the design of it. So I did one half of it. I'll do some of this with you online here uh, to finish it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to do the edge first. I always do the edges first. And then I go turn it around, and I I know I'm going to go down. All 
and you can kind of make the lines across it so you know exactly where you're going and then fill it in between. Let me see if I can bring up a little bit closer video of that. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at it now and I'm going to just blend stuff in very lightly just with the tip of the... I don't want to go too deep because these hairs are really fine. Okay. And I'll clean it up more when I can see better. But that's how it's done. And then I do a little bit around the nose, just a tiny bit around the nose. And down. I do another little row. Then later when I paint it, I just paint this section right here for the nose. Okay? Now, what I do here on the back, um, this comes straight down, which I was doing. The ears are fairly easy. All you, well, let's go to the face. The face, I always go towards the face, towards the nose area. And after I do the nose area here, uh, in the direction I want it to go, then I start fanning it out a little bit. I start making that little that little turn that you see going from here down. And you can make marks across it first and then go back and fill it in. Then you know where to go, okay? And this goes straight out. All right, so that's how you do the face, and then you fill all that in. All right, let's see if I can do that here. Let me move this over just a tad. Okay, there we go. You notice I have my hand, my thumb on this piece here. I didn't put my thumb guards back on because I'm near the end here anyway. So, it's a good way to jab yourself. Now, I'm just following when you do this. And you take care of this, you're just going to follow it straight over the top, all the way down to the bottom. That's how you're going to do this, pretty well straight. It comes out from underneath the ears a little bit. We put a little bit of a curvature here. Very light one. And then we work our way down. Okay, now here, here's kind of interesting. I kind of go in a little bit uh, into this little area here and kind of blend it back out again. All right, and then I fill all this in. Then I come back and I did the little paws, um, our feet. I just do little strokes there all, all the way up and down. And then the ear is done by just going across like this. All right, and then going straight down and following your ear all the way. All right, and then the um, the body here, um, that's up and down. This here, it turns a little bit. So it goes down this way, and then we, we start turning it, and then, you know, I kind of blend it in with, with this, and it goes all the way down. Like so, and then I'm just going to go up and back down. So it has that little bit of a flow to it. All right, so the back is straight, a little bit of a curvature on, on the legs in the back, straight down on the ear, straight down on the foot, and on the paws, <coughs> excuse me, the paws here, you're just... Sorry about that. Going in one direction, basically. You're coming down with a little bit at, a, at an angle here. And you're just doing very thin pieces here. All right. And then 
this portion straight down and I curve it a little bit to the bottom here like this and I'll come up a little bit. You always want it to look a little different in a different direction. It makes it look nicer because as you see here, you know, I'm going in different directions with it in different directions at the top. This flares out just like you see here and the, and the bottom and the tail is done a little differently. I just do it the same way as I do the tassel. I start from the one side and I work my way towards the center. And if you keep doing that, you'll end up with a little cotton tail like that, just like you do with the tassel. So I'm going to get offline here. I'm going to finish all this up, come back, tell you how I painted it and how I antiqued it, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back with the finished bunny. Now, what I did is very simple, just white around the nose, um, black eyes, or is it black? Let me take a look here. Yeah, just black eyes with a white dot, gray for the body, pink for the bottom part of the feet, uh, white for the teeth, of course, white for the tail, and uh, a little bit of pink on his nose in the front where we didn't put anything. I didn't put any nostrils in or anything like that. And of course just orange and green for the uh, t the tassel part of the, the carrot top itself. And the carrot is, um, you know, is orange. So that's it. And you can go ahead and paint it anytime. One thing I will tell you I do a lot of times is, do I have it here? Yeah, I, ha I, t I buy a little brush you can get them like six for a dollar, and I'll go in here and I'll brush all this extra stuff off. Uh, just brush it off a little bit. And then what I do uh, to uh, antique it, I just use a bur uh, burn umber. Take about, I don't know, about an inch strip from burn umber oil base from a tube, and I mix it in with the um, mineral oil that you can buy at Walmart and the pharmacy department. I take half of it out and I put a half a strip in, um, like a half a, well, an inch in a half a container and shake it up really well. Just make sure when you pour it out on a plate, it looks like the consistency, consistency of weak coffee and make sure you take all the flecks out of it, you know, just really stir it really, really well. Otherwise, you're going to have little brown streaks all over it. But that's what I use to antique these. Okay, so this is my little um, my little project of the uh, Easter bunny, and I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I hope you find a lot of joy creating it. All right, thanks again, and we'll get another video up very soon. Thanks for supporting me here at the Carver's Woodshop. I appreciate it.